My name is Richard Capen. I'm the co-owner of Cape Wide Enterprises, J.P. Mack Humber & Son. We're in the business of uh, maintaining septic systems, repairing and replacing the upgrade of Title V septic systems. We're replacing an old cesspool here at this house. We're down at the end of Seaview Avenue, which is right on the ocean. And what we've done is we've set a 1,500-gallon septic tank, which is in series with a 1,000-gallon pump chamber. We need to pump the effluent up so that we have a separation between the bottom of the leaching field and the groundwater. In this case here, we have a walkout basement and a laundry right behind these windows here. So what we had to do in order to be able to not have to have a raised system in this yard and to be able to accommodate the actual topography, we're coming out of the house at the elevation that existed, coming into this septic tank. What we're going to do is we're flowing downhill very, very, very slightly into a pump chamber. And that's going to be pumped up because what we need to maintain is a five foot separation between the bottom of the leaching field and the groundwater. So by doing this, we didn't have to change any plumbing inside and we're not gonna end up with a, with a mounded system. We're gonna be basically right at grade with a nine inches of cover over the, leached, over the septic tanks and then about a foot of cover over the septic system itself, the leaching field. We're putting the finishing touches on right now. We're shoring the pipe so that we don't have any sag later on. The pipe needs to be packed nice and tight. We have a trench going back to the house where we're going to be able to supply the power to the pumps. We're going to go right into the uh, electrical panel. Inside of this tank, we're going to have a, a three float system, which is going to let us know if there's a high, if the water comes up too high, an alarm's going to go off and let us know that the pump may not be working properly. And then the pump is going to be on a float, letting us know that it's time to pump the effluent up to the distribution box to be sent out into the leaching field. This is a 2013 Peterbilt 348 that we just purchased at the 2012 annual Pumper and Cleaner Convention held by Cole Publishing out in Indianapolis. This truck was set up to Cape Wide Enterprise's specific specifications. We wanted a truck that would be a 3,600 gallon truck so that we would be able to get out and make this truck work for us on a daily basis. We have two different size tanks in our area, a 1,000 gallon septic tank and a 1,500 gallon septic tank. By choosing a 3,600 gallon tank, we're able to increase our productivity by not having to travel to the plant too often during the day. We're able to get out and pump at least three tanks on this one truck. And that gives us the ability to get out and get at least six pumps done during the day and sometimes actually get two dumps in and move into the six to nine pumps. My partner and I chose this 2013 Peterbilt for reliability and productivity. We replaced an older 2500 gallon GMC top kick that came with the purchase of J.P. Macumber and Son in 2006. The truck served us well but unfortunately, it couldn't keep up with the demand of the pumps that we have on a daily basis. So by going to a 3,600 gallon tank, we've increased our productivity and we're able to get out and pump at a minimum of three tanks on, on one tank load. All right, what we're doing is getting ready to set this quarter horsepower Liberty pump, which is gonna go inside of the tank on two blocks so it's raised up off of the floor of the uh, pump chamber so that we're not picking up anything off the bottom, any, uh, any, other, any debris that would get sucked up into the pump. Once we get the pump into the tank, we're going to run the wires through, which is going to go into a flower pot right over here, and it's going to come up to grade in case we have to do any work on it later on down the line. It'll be easily accessible. And it's going to be wired into the house through this trench going through this conduit. We're putting on the, uh, getting ready to put the check valve on now. After we set the pump, we'll be ready to get to the backfill stage on this portion of the job so that we'll be able to move forward into the leaching field. At this point, we're doing site management. We've laid out the leach field and we're removing the top soil. We're gonna be going five feet around the entire leaching field so that we have proper drainage 
and we're going to be able to have the septic system work for many, many years to come. We're going to be under construction for two more days on this site. We'll be having a partial inspection this afternoon so that we'll be able to backfill the septic tank and the pump chamber so we'll be able to get back to the cesspools and fill those in. This whole process is going to end up taking us three days. We completed the first day by setting a 1,500 gallon septic tank in a 1,000 gallon pump chamber. Today we're stripping out the field where the leaching system is going to be placed. And then we're going to be going into a final wrap up tomorrow, putting the yard back together as if we were never here. And they will have a Title V compliance system on site in the ground.